Synthesizer player Mark Goldstein. Queen of Juicy Details. My mom and dad were gone, you know, and uh, I didn't have nothing to do. So I snuck into the medicine cabinet. And lo and behold, I found a jar of quaaludes. And my friends have been telling me all about them, you know. Quaaludes. So I, I thought I'd open it up. But I couldn't. These new kind of safety caps. There. So I took it. I took a quaalude, and I, I started to feel pretty good, you know? So I thought, if one makes me feel that good, mm. why don't I take the whole thing? And I did. Mm. And mm. I started to feel 
pretty good, you know. Uh, <clears throat> then I thought, I don't feel so good no more. Uh, maybe I'm gonna die. I, I think I'll go out for one last fling here and see if I can pick up some local hot action. Now, I've been reading this book here, 50 Simple Tips on How to Pick Up the Penguins and what to do with them when you get them home. So I knew just what to do. So I took a walk downtown. I went down to Kelly's Pub in downtown St. Paul. And lo and behold, a giant emperor penguin was standing right there in Kelly's Pub. I couldn't believe it. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Now, I knew exactly what to say. I opened up my book, and it said, walk up to the penguin and say with much confidence, Hey, baby, you want to go home with me and get it on? Fuck you. Does that mean yes? No. No, 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 hey, no, no. Hold it, hold it. No, wait a minute. This book says if I say that to you, you go home with me and do whatever I want to do. The what did book, I? The book's full of crap. What did I do wrong? Don't you know anything about bar etiquette? Bar etiquette? Yeah, bar etiquette. What, what are you talking about, Mama? I mean, first of all, you got to buy me a drink for Is that all? Waitress, get her. What are you having to drink? I have a North Pole. Get her a North Pole, would you? Thank you. OK, let's go home and get it on. No, not yet. Listen, now, now you've got to ask me to dance. So we can get to know each other. Ask yes. you to dance. Sort of feel each other out. Wait little. a minute. I can't dance. I just took 90 quaaludes. I can't even stand up. How do you expect me to dance? I don't know. But you're going to have to dance if okay. you want to go home with me. Okay, let's dance and go home and get it on. Well, well, we could dance, but as you can hear, the band is playing a bunch of a bunch of bullshit music. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. And I wanna dance to some some disco. Well you're in luck tonight, baby. The Skogie band, the band that's playing here, is personal buddy mine. Strike one, strike. I'm not impressed. Strike one, three strikes are out. I'm not impressed, man. Well listen. I'll go up and ask these guys to play us a disco song. We can get out there and get it on and then go home and get it on. What do you say to that? Okay. That's all good? Okay. Just wait here a minute. Hey, excuse me, you guy right there. Skogie Band, do me a favor and play ah. one disco song so I can get it on with the penguin over there. That big emperor model? Yeah, the big penguin over there. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> You scratch our backs, we'll scratch yours. Yeah? What can I do for you? Okay, you have a Polaroid at home. <laughs> yeah, Polaroid camera, right? Well, how about some snapshots? Some, for some right, snapshots. Right, okay, we'll now, be... that's a deal. I'll bring you some snapshot photos of the penguin with spread flappers. Spread flappers. <laughs> like that. <laughs> if you'll play a disco song. You got it. <laughs> all right. Like you all heard, we're going to play a disco song. So the guy can pick up the penguin out there. A song by the average white band called Pick Up the Penguin. One, two, three. venereal disease. I took the penguin home and I did a bunch of nasty things and now 
I caught venereal disease. I mean, what can I do? I've got VD. Well, listen. I don't know where to go. It's no big deal. As a matter of fact, our diocese has put out a, a little handy pamphlet, and you can pick it up on the way out of the pulpit here. You mean if I read that, I'll be OK? Sure, you read the book. It's going to tell you all about it, the whole story. Oh, let me take a look at it here. Let's see. The story of VD, a history. VD is for everybody. VD is for everybody. Nachos for the few. Long ago, rock of ages come to me. Let me hide myself in thee. VD was originally just a germ floating around in the blood vessels of goats and sheep. The goats and sheep were immune to the venereal disease. Only when in contact with a human being did the venereal disease make themselves apparent. How did it start, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. It started back in the days of Adam and Eve. One day, Cain slew Abel. He didn't have no one else to get it on with, so he snuck up behind one of Abel's two little goats and proceeded to contract venereal disease. And God didn't like that. So God called on Cain and he said, Cain, get thee hence. And he sent Cain far away, and Cain spread venereal disease. All over the world, there's a kind of germ. Like us are catching a dose. People all over the world caught a dose of that venereal disease. And God didn't like that. So he called on his friend Noah and he said, Noah, build me an ark. Put two of every animal on your ark. And that's exactly what Noah did. A sheep, a goat, a lamb, a you, a you for me, a ram for you. And when there was two of everything on the ark, God proceeded to flush the giant toilet in the sky, washing the earth free of the venereal disease. And it wasn't. So many thousands of years later, in 1942, a sailor getting off the boat in Anzio, Italy, during World War II, he got off the boat. This sailor wasn't your normal type sailor, you know, he hadn't been getting any action on the boat. So he snuck up behind an Italian goat and proceeded to contract the venereal disease. And he spread it all over Europe. And when the war ended in 1945, they sent him home on his troop transports to his hometown, New York City. Keep my regards to Broadway. Remember me to Harold Square. Remember him in Harold Square, indeed they do. He spread venereal disease all over the place. He spread it from Brooklyn to Coney Island and Rockaway Beach to Harlem, through Manhattan, across the Hudson River, into the wilds of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Cleveland, Ohio. Gary couldn't stop it. Toledo, Ohio. Gary in a Tudabana. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. Won't say it once again. Headed north. Chicago, Chicago, that Donald Trump. Still further north. You have to get the beer. To Milwaukee. Down for Then it made an abrupt left turn and headed west on Highway I-94. It came to the great state of Minnesota. It spread all over as far north as Coon Rapids. So don't ever go to Coon Rapids, because if you do go to Coon Rapids, you might catch a dose of a neural disease. And that wouldn't be no fun. If you do go to Coon Rapids, don't be afraid. Just go to a doctor, a simple castration, and you're free of the venereal disease. And here's a little song that the diocese there, the church, put together for us. A song called Poison Ivy. Just a little reminder. <laughs> Oh, 
Like a hound. The minute you start to fuck. 